2015 starts similar to 2014. Amber is living rent-free at her significant other's parents' house, cannot drive, is not seeking any further education, not enrolled in anything really, uh, no employment, no volunteer work, and no vocational training. So different from today. But this year, a very specific set of events take things wildly off track at very high speeds, which I truly think begins the end of the weight loss journey that this channel originated as and is now the girl world hellscape that we know it as today. Same rules as last time, if it's written down or verbally expressed, weight gets marked down. No decimal points because, like, come on, let's not split hairs now. No guesstimating between gaps and weigh-ins. As long as I lost like two pounds, I'm happy. Are you always hungry? Always hungry. I promised myself I would never be in the 400s again. Here I am, 24 years old, and I weigh 403.6. We decided to break up. Crystal really is my everything, and how did you meet your new girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. She wants to ask me in person. Like, isn't that the cutest thing ever? Her name is Destiny. I'm very grateful that she accepts the person I am on the outside, but she also thinks I'm beautiful on the inside. On the inside, I'm a really, really good person and she sees that and she points that out to me. I need to lose this weight. It doesn't matter how I do it. As long as I'm being healthy, I need to do it. I officially have a job. I weighed in at the heaviest I've ever been. That does keep happening and it was 434 pounds. So because I will never weigh more than that, I can promise you guys that. Don't always assume that I'm eating like the worst things ever. January 1st starts at 385. She gained eight pounds since the last 2014 weigh-in. Again, holidays, it happens. But something clearly sniped any attempt at taking the initiative because she only weighed in around three more times after the first, until she broke 400 in March. During this time period, she's been very vocal about family issues going on behind the scenes, and in April, Crystal actually breaks up with her. So I'm just gonna guess emotional eating was her only outlet because usually people have like hobbies or jobs or activities or jobs or like healthy coping mechanisms or jobs to help keep them a little focused on things outside of themselves. But luckily for her and her feminine wiles, she had another gal in the pocket just over a month. Destiny has finally debuted and I truly believe this is where any semblance of inhibition was just willingly left behind in Virginia. At this point, each new weigh-in was the new highest. I'm gonna guess it's because she was dating someone that had the diet of a child left unattended at a birthday party. With this new relationship beginning, she did not check her weight too much in 2015. She was spirited away from a sleepy little town in Northern Virginia with an upper middle class family to having roommates, far too many animals, and a significant other with a very different personality type than the previous one. With the need for employment actually being a need and overall unavoidable. The fact that you have to go to work, yep. like I'm going to miss you and you have to leave soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm here all by myself, cleaning, watching animals. Mm. It's just hard. You are a bum. Destiny would go to work and Amber would just stay home vegetating. Doing nothing all day clearly is an easy way to gain weight because on her ninth weigh in, she hit 422 pounds. And I say ninth weigh in, there was only 18 in 2015, compared to 2014 when there was around 80 weigh ins. Every individual has their own patterns of gaining and losing weight and fluctuating. Amber's is very much tethered to her weigh in frequencies. When she doesn't track, she gains weight. Even weekly check ins helps keep a little bit of the morbid obesity at bay. Thankfully, she did gain employment. For the first time ever at this time period as well. At 24, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. They help people who don't really have anywhere to live, who can't help themselves. So you have to take care of them. They just uh, stared while I peed. I don't think I was dealing with the top brass. 
during this time period when I started tracking, I truly figured her weight would start going down since she had to kind of move around for her job. Maybe not a lot, but she did have to move more than just sitting at home all day. But she gained 20 pounds in her time employed from September to December, which I believe is because she had an income completely untethered to an authority figure. Like I said in the beginning, this is the end. I feel like her weight loss journey had some true earnest intent in the beginning. Mistakes, lessons learned, actual progress being shown, but now we're in girl world. Why bother checking your weight, exercising, or be aware of your caloric intake in any way? That's not fun. You can instead have your hot new girlfriend drive you around everywhere, spend your new joint income going out to eat with friends, or just keep it intimate at Denny's, which is a bad combo for someone with already harmful levels of self-indulgence. Tracking your weight that keeps increasing is just a bummer, and we don't have time for that right now. We gotta go to Denny's. Will Denny's Grand Slam still be 199? Only if the sun comes up.